My name is Jeff Crane. I work for the Andover Company in Seattle, Washington. It used to be that these these e-commerce giants were building these mega warehouses, you know, anywhere from 500,000 to a million square feet, as close as they could to these, you know, huge population centers. And they usually would be out, you know, about an hour out where land was cheap and plentiful. And they've all, it's kind of morphed now into now what they're trying to do is find what's called that last mile warehouse. They've got their huge warehouses filled up. They're almost kind of like sorting centers, if you will, to provide now the products to the smaller warehouses. And the smaller last mile warehouses now are the ones that are closer or maybe right in the middle of these population centers. And they could be anywhere from 30,000 feet to 150,000 square feet, say. And they've changed things quite a bit because uh, they've given new life to a lot of second generation buildings that maybe had been obsolete in the past and buildings that maybe had a hard time renting out. Uh, they had to maybe lower the rents because they were obsolete. But now they've, you know, if, if the landlords can, can do a few things to those buildings, they can actually put themselves into what's a really hot market right now. Well, there's a reason why a lot of these second generation buildings are obsolete, right? I mean, they're, they, they oftentimes are multi-level warehouses with low ceiling height. They oftentimes don't have any truck maneuvering space whatsoever. They don't have a lot of power. So those are all things that these e-commerce uh, companies want. They want, they want higher ceilings because it's cheaper to go up than it is out. They want heavy power. Uh, the reason for that is a lot of them are looking to uh, put in these automated picking systems, which all require extra power. So if a landlord had a building that he considered to have standard power, I would double it if I was him. Uh, and you'd probably be safe. Uh, they also have a need for what I would call um, loading or covered loading or staging areas. And that would be for the smaller trucks, the UPS, the FedEx, the Uber or Lyft drivers that show up all day long, 24 hours a day to pick up the packages to deliver. And that's how they're getting it to these, these companies.